Iran's Revolutionary Guards Corps IRGC, unveiled today the existence of a new tactical ballistic missile, representing a generation leap in ballistic missile technology. The fourth-generation ROD 500 Thunder introduces an improved aerodynamic design, composite casing rocket propulsion, and terminal precision capability recently demonstrated by Iran on its attack on the U.S. airbase of al-Assad in Iraq. The guidance section of ROD 500 is different from the one used on the FATA 110 and is considered to be a more mature design tailored for the missile. Shares the physical dimensions with the FATA 110, but improves payload to weight ratio. The new missile weighs half the weight of the FATA 110, 3320 kilograms, while extending the FATA 110 range to 500 kilometers, adding 200 kilometers. The missile used a separable maneuvering warhead that shapes the warhead stage trajectory after separation to improve impact accuracy. The missile uses four cannered fins placed at the main contributor to this improvement is Zohair, a new rocket engine made with carbon fibers composite rocket casing, designed to withstand pressures up to 100 bars at temperatures of 3000 degrees Celsius. Until now rocket casing made of steel was used for this purpose. Tehran also unveiled a bigger rocket engine designed to propel satellites and missiles upper stages in space. This rocket engine also implements composite casing and thrust vectoring, enabling a missile to shape its trajectory as it moves in space. This capability is useful for placing satellites in orbit and improving the accuracy of re-entry vehicles before entering the Earth's atmosphere. Iran has unveiled a new short-range ballistic missile, the ROD-500, which it says it both lighter and has a longer range than similar existing weapons in the country's arsenal. A new lightweight solid-fuel rocket motor, which also offers added reliability and flexibility over liquid fuel types, is at the heart of the design technology that Iranian officials say they plan to utilize in other ballistic missiles, as well as space launch vehicles, in the future. Iran's powerful Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, showed off the ROD 500, along with its Zohair rocket motor, also written Zohair, during a televised ceremony on February 9. IRGC Commander Major General Hossein Salami and Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh, head of the IRGC's Aerospace Force, also revealed the Salman rocket motor, which is a derivative of the Zohair they said was intended for space launch vehicles. As its name suggests, the ROD 500 reportedly has a range of 500 kilometers, or approximately 310 miles. This is more than twice that of the solid-fuel FATA 110, one of the more ubiquitous short-range ballistic missile designs presently in Iranian service. Iran already has a longer-range derivative of the FATA 110 family, Zulfikar, which reportedly has a range of just under 435 miles. However, the IRGC also says that the ROD 500 is half the weight of the FATA 110, which gives it a significantly greater power-to-weight ratio than the previous design. All of this means that the rocket motor has to propel less weight, translating to a longer range. This, in turn, would allow Iranian forces to employ these missiles at targets that are outside the range of the existing FATA 110 or even Zulfikar, or fire these weapons from sites deeper within Iran, making it harder for an opponent to monitor those activities or attempt to launch a preemptive strike before a launch. Missiles with solid-fuel rocket motors, rather than liquid-fuel ones, are already safer to handle and easier to prepare to fire. It also increases the available payload capacity, which could allow for larger and more complex warheads. The IRGC says that the ROD 500 has a maneuverable re-entry vehicle on top, which would increase the weapon's accuracy. 
with an appropriate guidance package, such as one including an imaging infrared sensor, it could also potentially engage slowly moving targets, such as aircraft carriers and large warships. In 2018, Iran had unveiled a version of the FATA 110, the FATA Mobin, which it claimed was an anti-ship variant. The threat of Iranian ballistic missile barrages already represents a known threat to foreign naval activites, especially those of the United States, in the Persian Gulf, the Gulf of Oman, and the strategic Strait of Hormuz that links those two bodies of water together. Thank you.